Karnataka. This is a video that has emerged of an overzealous cop at the Atibele check post on the Hozu Road in Karnataka. And this video uh, shows how he is seen blocking the entry of those who wanted to return to the state. Now, the cop posted at the check post insisted that the people must either pay uh, for their quarantine stay in the hotel or return home. Whereas, as per the policy, the state government has to provide free government quarantine to all those stranded people who are, of course, returning. The cop was, in fact, caught on camera in the video, which has now gone viral. And it clearly shows how there is violation of this rule. And he's also making an announcement that those entering Bengaluru will have to pay 1,250 per day for a 14-day quarantine. Bengaluru city to Bengaluru jille Bororo. Enter the country, head up to the day. One do 14 days hotel quarantine after two. Hotel do revenue of the carrier do electronic city leave on the hotel do book my desire and the thousand two fifty rupees per day. Quote photo new 14 days quarantine after two. Second option go back. Papa so quick step. Here day option zero. Private to the Laru Nipomedi. वापस हो गए हैं व्हीकल एल पास एंटर मार कर दिए, तो आज फोर स्ट्रेन इनके तमिलनाडु एंटर कर तर ले, जय माँ डी वापस से निम्न पास के एंट्री मार्च में लोगी थी। Let me go across to my colleague uh, Shrija, who's joining me live, getting us further updates on this. Shrija, absolutely unacceptable the way in which this overzealous cop goes ahead and violates all the rules that is in place. Help us understand how long has this been continuing from the side of this cop? When did this matter come to light? And what kind of action has been taken? Well, Apurva, in fact, we understand it's been at least a little over two days where the situation has been continuing at uh, the Atti Pele check post because there are several of them. Uh, we're talking about the people, not uh, the migrant uh, workers, or we're talking about uh, people below poverty line. But of course, uh, this is for the middle class as far as the nodal officer is concerned. Now, he's also go, uh, telling us that this has been, this arrangement has been given only especially uh, to the middle class people who are especially coming from the neighboring. Uh, state which is Tamil Nadu. Now several of them especially uh, at the check post that we're talking about were uh, waiting for them you know so that they could pass that particular check post they could enter Bengaluru or Bengaluru city but you can see in the video it is very uh, it is amply clear where he is making it categorically by telling the people who are waiting at the check post that if you really want to enter Bengaluru city you will have to be uh, compulsory. Now, remember, Karnataka government has made it mandatory that you have to, if you're coming from elsewhere and entering the state, you will have to undergo the 14-day institutional quarantine. Now, this is the kind of uh, rule that has been made by the Karnataka government, especially, this is especially for uh, the interstate travelers that we're talking about. So, people who are stuck at Atibale uh, check post, even though they have the e-pass, but they will not be allowed to enter Atibale check post. This is only after the they agree to stay at a hotel for rupees 1250 this is per day in arrangement with the revenue officials now you can also imagine when you're talking about 14 days it at least amounts to 16,000 rupees now clearly a lot of people including the students are not willing to cough up that kind of an amount so they have been pleading the officers that on what basis on what grounds this was this announcement has been made also you did ask the question as to any action has been taken we did try and get in touch with the district officials including the directorate in fact overseeing the operations right at Atibele check post now we have been told that there is no such rule but we did question okay. uh, this person this particular person who gave us the information that there is no such rule of not allowing the people and forcing them to stay in the hotel and asking them to pay for the 14 day stay uh, they have in fact rubbish that particular claim but however we did give them the video this is what the cop is saying they also told that, that uh, this was a miss communication and an action will be initiated now remember this has been already a little over two days but so far what we understand no action has been initiated against the cop for making an announcement as this remember this is clear in clear violation of all the rules that have been laid down by the mha and not just that including by the state as well back to you poor
Absolutely. This is in clear violation of all the guidelines that have been put in place by the MHA as well as the state government as well. But Shrija, this is a very serious matter that has come to light. As you're saying, for the past two days, perhaps this was happening. And right now it has come to the cognizance. What action can we expect from the side of the state government? Have they found out how many people have been turned back, asked to go home because they could not pay this kind of money? Well, we understand at this point in time there were at least over 500 who were waiting in that particular queue. This is at the check post on their private vehicles itself and every one of them had even, uh, they even had a pass, the e-pass. They wanted to enter the city of Bengaluru but however they were turned away. They said you cannot, if you're ready to pay 1,250 for per day which amounts to nearly uh, 16,000 for the next of the 14 days, only then will you be allowed to enter the district. But however, we understand several of them were turned away despite traveling over 300 kilometers we are telling we're talking about where they had traveled all the way from Tamil Nadu from Chennai they were coming here to uh, Bengaluru they've traveled over 350 kilometers and they were turned away so clearly we do not have the exact number as to how many people were turned away but what we do know is that just okay. a hand few of them were allowed to enter uh, through check post the Atti Bele check post and also they were asked to go uh, for the 14 day quarantine this is at the hotel itself now remember as far as the action is concerned what we see here is is that uh, no action has been initiated against this particular uh, uh, the uh, police officer who has made such kind of an announcement and also what we understand is that several people have even in fact vented their frustration they've taken out on the Twitter they have been in fact tagging even the uh, the DGP of Karnataka asking them this on what kind of basis such a rule has come into place we have traveled all the way to uh, Bengaluru Karnataka 300 to 350 kilometers and eventually we are being told not to enter the place if you're not able to pay the money. All right, uh, Srija, many thanks for joining us and bringing us all those updates.